the death toll has risen overnight and that massive explosion in Beirut, the death toll has climbed to more than a 15 year civil war. Officials believe thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate, a fertilizer chemical often used in bombs, was detonated by a burning warehouse full of fireworks. Agata has new information on the explosion. Charlie, those images out of Beirut are just devastating. Incredible. And there are reports this morning now of more than 4,000 injured. That number is expected to climb as the search for survivors continues. Officials are blaming the explosion on thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate, as you mentioned, used as fertilizer usually, but also to make bombs. Now there are serious questions as to why such a dangerous quantity of the chemical was being stored so close to the city center. The explosion sent a towering plume of smoke high into the air, the inferno engulfing nearby buildings. Then it triggered something much, much bigger. The massive blast created a mushroom cloud of debris, dust, and smoke that swept through the city. What happened? From those in the street oh to the explosion as seen from the bay. A blast so powerful, it was felt in countries more than 100 miles away. I don't know how. Uh, my neighborhood just became a war zone. Debris and shards of glass from shattered windows became shrapnel, flying through the air at lightning speed before okay. people could duck for cover. We still don't even know what happened yet. Bloodied survivors stumbled through the debris. Everyone who was able became a first responder. The city's hospitals, already struggling to cope with COVID-19, were quickly overwhelmed. Only those with life-threatening injuries allowed in. The Lebanese prime minister said 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate had blown up, stored for years in a portside warehouse. President Trump said his generals thought maybe it wasn't an accident. Uh, they seemed to think it was a uh, attack. It was a bomb of some kind, yes. The blast laid waste to the port in a country that imports almost all of its food, and 85% of its grain had been stored in the destroyed granaries. Now, before the blast, Lebanon was already in a COVID-19 lockdown. Before that, widespread po protests were demanding the resignation of the government. Here, the UK has joined the United States, the UN, and even traditional adversary Israel in offering international support and assistance. Jeff? Charlie Daggett in London, thank you very much.